Hey guys, Michael Force here, Force State Trucks. We're back at it on 100 proof. As you can see right here, we got this big, beautiful slab of red. This is our front deck plate. This is a flush mount type. This will sit just flush with the top of the frame rails. Obviously you can see it's painted as frame color to match. We'll get this thing set in here and this will really make that frame look really sharp. Makes it look like a, a large slab rather than a couple of sticks and rails down the frame. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some help and we'll uh, set this thing in place. Right around there. Well, there's the big piece. It's set in place. Now I just need to go underneath and I'm gonna bolt this up through the bottom of the cross members. There's channels welded in across various places and there's nut certs in there. So all I gotta do is just bolt it right to the bottom. So for a moment, just gonna loosely bolt this up into place. I've got more stuff to line up in the back and that's a little bit more critical on the fitment. All right, here's the under the fifth wheel section of our deck plate. We'll slide it in there and then it's gonna get bolted up front and back across those cross pieces of the fifth wheel. All right, so here's the space that's gonna go between that fifth wheel cross piece and the deck plates, both at the front and at the rear. As you can see, it's a little stack of aluminum plates and with a nice thinner aluminum paint painted to wrap around it. And I've already pre-fit these and I had to make them specific to the size of the gap because it may vary from one truck to another or even the front to the back. And I'll just slide this in and then we'll bolt down through the cross piece, through this, and through the deck plates down below. I'm gonna come back up to the front one and get this mounted. These have a whole bunch of 3 8 bolts and 3 8 nut certs in through cross member holes. And since I can't put a lock nut on it, and I definitely don't want these things vibrating loose because they will be subject to a lot of vibration, I'm gonna put thread locker on these. Just use some red medium strength thread locker. Make this as vibration proof as possible. All right, so y'all may have noticed this one empty hole right here kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Well, what that's for is our bulkhead for the airline to go up to the fifth wheel slider. Obviously it has to be there, but at least this is a lot nicer and cleaner than having a bracket hang off here with line coming up out of the middle of the frame. Let me go ahead and work on the rear section now. Now the back of this fifth wheel deck plate, same thing, I've got to have a spacer put in here and it's gonna come over to the rear also and then bolt the front section in. And then I made a panel with some quarter inch nut search into it. And what I'm gonna do with this is it'll be attached. Then when this rear section goes in, it'll get sandwiched in here and then I'll just pull this up from the, from the top. All right. Here's all three pieces of our flush mount deck plate from the front to the rear. Now I just gotta get our seven wire hooked up and run the airlines to the couplers up front. All right, so here's my seven wire plug and my uh, service and emergency brake lines. I got hooked to these fittings down below. First thing I wanna do though is get this fed through there and I didn't wanna cut this end off. So I made a special size hole, of course this socket will just plugs into the harness here. I'm gonna kind of squeeze this down and force this through the hole. That's essentially how it's mounted from the factory into that little pogo stick mount. We need to kind of mount it the same way and then put the socket back on over it. Make sure it's attached to good. That'll fit back in there. I need to make sure that I can keep this electric line out of the drive line, obviously. Of course, it's trying to point right down to it, so I think I'll hook up that line, tie it to it. All right, I'll check valves tight. I want compression fit in here tight. All solid. All right, we're gonna set our fifth wheel top plate back on now. We had this off for polishing. We didn't have to remove it, do the deck plates, but it was really convenient to do all this work without it on there. So. All right, guys, there it is. Installation of our three-piece flush mount custom deck plate. Like you can see, we've got a custom cutout in this airline box. Just kind of a unique design. And speaking of unique, this thing is made specifically for this exact truck because I couldn't take this deck plate out and put it in another truck regardless of how exactly the same as it is because there's different nuances here where frame rails might be a little bit tweaked here or there or something. So this is made for this truck. So as you can see, we're getting a lot more stuff on this truck. I think we're getting really close to being finished. This thing is taking quite a transformation. I mean, it was a good looking truck before, but we're not done yet. So stick around, we got more stuff to go.